hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how you can quickly create or modify expressions for metahumans uh, without uh, destroying any existing uh, blend shapes uh, on the metahuman skeletal mesh right so uh, let's uh, get started and uh, we will uh, work with the tore and uh, we will open a tore in uh, poser there are two ways you can uh, create uh, or modify expressions you are you either do it in uh, mesh morpher with uh, its uh, sculpt tools or you can sculpt uh, you have some uh, sculpt tools here like move sculpt smooth inflate pinch plane flatten restore transform and lattice deformer so you can do a lot of stuff just uh, in a mesh morpher but if you would like a more advanced uh, uh, tool uh, that is not part of Mesh Morpher, you can export uh, to Blender or ZBrush or whatever and bring it back uh, in the engine, right? So let's uh, get started and let's see what uh, we want to modify. So uh, we can uh, go with the mouse corner pull uh, for uh, the left side and for the right side and uh, we can see how the vertices uh, move here and uh, we can uh, we can uh, we will do one in uh, mesh morpher and uh, one we will do it in zbrush right so uh, to do it in mesh morpher we need to copy this uh, expression name for you need to uh, copy the control expression name right and uh, we will uh, open the skeletal mesh and we will create a new animation pose, right? We will create a generic uh, empty uh, animation sequence and we will give it a name, doesn't matter which name you pick. And the once uh, you open uh, this uh, animation, you can add a curve and you can add uh, what the, uh, the curve name that you copied from Mesh Morpher, right? So control expression, mouth corner pull, L. so uh, we will enable this curve in this animation. Uh, we need to add a new key. And uh, we will set the frame at 0 with a value of 1. And now uh, you can see uh, we have uh, the curve enabled, right? We can now go to uh, pose uh, to Mesh Morpher and uh, open uh, the pose. Let me close this morph target. okay and we will load our animation pose right so now we we can uh, create a new uh morph target and we will give it a name that is gonna be uh easier for us to identify right because we will use this later so let's uh, go with mouth corner pull l modified and now uh, we can uh, do uh, some uh, sculpting here and uh uh, don't forget if you work with expressions they are for the left and right side and uh, you have to disable symmetry so you don't affect uh, the other side and uh, let's uh, do some uh, stuff here let's uh, make uh, this a little bit more uh, accentuated i think it's the word and uh, let's uh, smooth a little bit this edge here and uh, just for the sake of it i think uh, we're gonna leave it to this right so with, when the mouth corner pull is enabled uh, we will also trigger this one right so now we have a corrective morph tar target uh, which will hold only our modification right well it's not gonna be the full pose only modification between what we have here and what we have in the animation pose right so this is uh, how it works Okay, save it. And uh, now uh, we can go ahead and uh, enable it in our control rig. We have to open the skeletal mesh and open the face control board control rig uh, asset. And 
and what we have to search for here is our control right what we want to uh, modify so let's see uh, we are setting the mouth corner pool uh, uh, in this place here and we have to add our uh, we have to add our uh, custom uh, uh, expression uh, co corrective uh, morph target for the expression right so uh, what we we're, we're gonna do here is uh, set a new uh, create a new set curve value right and uh, let's uh, select Oh, first of all, uh, you need to uh, refresh a metahuman skeleton. Otherwise, you won't have uh, the curve enabled here, right? You need to re uh, reset curves. So let's open this. If you change the, if you baked the the metahuman, you can also go to refresh and select the the skeletal mesh. And don't forget to enable a post process animation blueprint, right? So this is how uh, it should work here. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's see uh, how we're going here. We need to search for our mouth mouth corner pull l uh, modified this is our morph target right and we will set its uh, value by the same value uh, we enable uh, mouth corner pull uh, control expression right but we can also uh, do another thing uh, we can uh, uh, add some uh, logic here if uh, let's connect this first We can even add some logic here uh, on the value node. We can add interpolations uh, where we can uh, modify uh, a range. We can create a range. So uh, in, a, in a range of uh, 1 to 0, we can modify uh, one, uh, 0 to 3. Uh, no, 0, 3. So when uh, the corner pool is at uh, its maximum value of 0, 03, it will enable uh, this uh, uh, corrective morph target we just created by the value of 1. So you can create all kinds of stuff and uh, do some crazy stuff here, right? Uh, it's pretty cool. Control uh, This uh, control rig is pretty cool. And uh, let's see. Uh, where is the mouth control? I think this might be it. You can see it. Yeah. And uh, we can also disable it and see how it looks. Uh, one second. Let's, let's set it to maximum value here. Okay. I think this is a good angle. And uh, now let's see it uh, without our corrective morph target. You can see uh, there's a huge difference between them. This is pretty cool. Okay, uh, let's uh, re enable it. Looks good. And uh, now, uh, what uh, you can also do is um, to create uh, a corrective uh, expression uh, morph target in uh, ZBrush, for example, right? So we can, uh, ex you can export in a browser, you can select all uh, uh, control uh, animation curve and export them to OBJ. And uh, let's see, let's select this, uh, this tool we just worked with now. And you can also add the prefix and the suffix. And let's put here, well, weighted so we know uh, which one uh, is exported now right you can add whatever name you can also add, append uh, additional uh, meshes like bodies and whatever and uh, now let's uh, export this too i'm gonna take just a little bit 
And now we're gonna try to make uh, uh, the mouth corner pull in uh, ZBrush, right? Let me open ZBrush. And uh, what we want to do is uh, mouth corner pull R, R, okay. Okay. And uh, let's uh, do some uh, modification here. Let's drag it just like that. And uh, now after you modified it, you can export it. And uh, let's give it a name so we can identify it. We will call it modified. And now we can go back to to our uh, engine here and uh, copy the name of uh, this uh, morph uh, this uh, animation curve we just uh, modified in uh, ZBrush. Uh, open your animation pose. Uh, you can delete uh, the preview curve. Add your new curve, which is uh, mouth corner pull R. Uh, okay. Add it, edit the curve, add a new key, uh, set the frame to zero and the value of one. And now we can go back to the main window here and select the animation pose and reload it. And now we can go to create from mesh file. Uh, let me pick uh, the name from uh, this one. Uh, the one we created in Mesh Morpher. And now we can open Create from Mesh Files and we just copy so we don't have to write it again from scratch, right? We just replaced the uh, L with R. So let's see how it goes. So first we need to load the unmodified uh, OBJ file, which will match what we see here. Say and now we can add our modified blend shape, right? So uh, you don't have to do anything else. You just press create. Okay, and now we have to go uh, to. Let's copy this uh, name here so we don't have to type it. And now we can go ahead in uh, control rig and do the same thing for this expression, right? We found it, it, it gets enabled uh, here and uh, we will uh, set curve value. Oh, don't forget to refresh because if you don't refresh curves, uh, your new morph target won't appear here. So just refresh curves. Okay. And now we can search for uh, what was the name? Mouth corner for R. Copy name. Okay. We connect the morph target enabler here and we set the value from the control, right? I think this is it, and uh, let's see it in action. You can see how much the mouth moves now, and the same goes uh, for not uh, this control. And the same goes for uh, the other side, right? So uh, now let's see it uh, in a sequencer because this also works in sequencer. Let's uh, add our new metahuman in the world. Increase the camera speed a little bit. And let's add a new level sequence. And add our metahuman here. And uh, we can test it 
let me let me zoom in a little bit and now we can test it in uh, in sequencer you can see how much uh, the mouth moves this is pretty cool uh, we can modify all the expressions it doesn't matter which one uh, you try to modify uh, this is how you enable it you can create new uh, expression customizers in mesh morpher or you can create them in blender zbrush or whatever right so uh, an important note here is that you can export all if you if you decide to do this outside of uh, the engine and uh, use uh, zbrush or whatever you can select all expressions right uh, you have to type control so uh, you can uh, see here in this list only the expressions and you can hold shift and click the last one right click on it and export to obj you can also you can also press on this button here to obj file and uh, from here you select the prefix uh, suffix uh, either if you want it either welded or not i think for this you don't have to weld anything and if you press ok you have to pick the directory right so uh, this works the same for morph targets as well you can select all uh, morph targets or whatever you click on to obj file or right click uh, on uh, export obj file if you want to have uh, everything enabled by default without control rig uh, nodes uh, or modifying the control rig uh, you can do one thing uh, if if you check uh, the pool uh, mouth corner pool l uh, animation curve and enable it you'll see that here this doesn't get enabled but we can uh, overwrite our uh, uh, mouth corner pool uh, blend shape from uh, metahuman let's uh, test it out okay. let's see what's the name of it mouth corner pool this is the name of it so let's copy this name and uh, we will do one thing uh, we will open blend and uh, search for uh, this uh, uh, blend shape this is the default uh, blend shape from uh, the meta human right and uh, we will also uh, let's enable it yeah it's enabled to maximum value so enable the default one to maximum value and uh, your custom one as well right and uh, set the new morph name to the existing one so you will override it and press on create right so uh, now it will tell you that uh, the mouth corner pool left already exists and if you want to override it you say yes okay and uh, let's go back to poser and enable mouth corner pool l and you will see that you will have uh, uh, your custom blend shape already baked in uh, the the existing one right so uh, don't forget that if you choose this route uh, to open uh, the control rig and disable it uh, remove that node uh, you've added right so let's go back here in a control board rig and let's search for mouth corner pool L right and we will uh, disable completely uh, our custom uh, uh, corrective uh, blend ship uh, and uh, because now it is already baked in uh, in the existing one and let's test it out let's maximize a little bit this well. okay and now you can see you have it baked in uh, the existing uh, blend shape so there are several ways that you can go uh, to customize uh, your expressions some are permanent changes some are more uh, like uh, non-intrusive so it's up to you which route uh, you go right so this is it
for this video guys and uh, I hope uh, you find uh, this uh, video helpful and uh, see you around. Bye.